We have so many decisions to make in life. Decisions like whether to stick with a bad job or sign up for that course or whether to tell a loved one how you really feel. And most of us don't have a system for making those decisions. Basically, all we do is we think about it. We think and then we ask other people what they think and then we think some more until we finally convince ourselves that one course of action is better than the other. And how well does that work for us? Is it true that the longer you think, the better decisions you make? Or does overthinking just shoot you in the foot? Now, another way to make decisions is to go with your gut instinct. So you go with that instinct because you trust that your gut knows something that you don't. And that works sometimes, but it doesn't always work. And I'm thinking here about how many relationships we end up in because our gut is saying yes, when in fact, we probably should have thought twice about it. Now, there's another way to make decisions, and I believe that it's a better way to make decisions. It's by using the pleasure principle. Hi, I'm Amy Waterman. I am the host here at yourbrilliance.com. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips from my book that will help you live in a way that brings you greater joy and fulfillment, and of course, love. Now, some of you already know about the pleasure principle from all the times I've talked about it, but others of you don't. So just give me a few minutes to recap. The pleasure principle is a really simple rule for life. Go towards the things that bring you pleasure instead of away from the things that bring you pain. Now that sounds so simple, but it is so not the way we normally live our lives. Like normally we spend all of our time thinking about everything that could go wrong. We try to avoid anything that's painful and we motivate ourselves by saying mean things about ourselves, about how fat we're going to get if we don't stay on this diet or how lazy we are if we're not spending every minute of the day working. Now that's a really uncomfortable way to live. So what if instead you looked for the stuff that made you happy, the stuff that made you smile, and then you move towards that? So that's the pleasure principle in a nutshell, but the pleasure principle is not just a cool idea. It's a practical tool for life. And so that's why I wanna give you this tip from my book about how to actually use the pleasure principle to make better decisions. Well, first thing first, you abandon those pro and con lists because when you drop a list of pros and cons, you're putting equal weight on what you want and what you don't want. And so if there are a lot of cons, then you may not choose something even though it's something you really want to do. In life, there are so many things that are hard and difficult, but are so worth doing. And there's things that look impossible, but are so worth the attempt. And those things are worth doing because they bring us joy and meaning and satisfaction. So don't put your cons before your pros. If something brings you pleasure, it's worth the effort. But maybe you've done things in the past because you thought they would feel good and then you've gotten yourself into trouble. And now you always make a point to think about the negative consequences first. Well, chances are you are making this very common mistake. If I tell you to move towards the things that bring you pleasure, you think you know what pleasure is. You know what would make you happy, right? But do you? Daniel Gilbert, in his best-selling book, Stumbling on Happiness, makes it very clear that we actually have no clue what makes us happy. When we do something because we think it will bring us pleasure, we're often wrong. And so I don't recommend that you base your decisions on what you think will bring you the most pleasure because your head is not the best guide here. Instead, I'm going to ask that you look at what brings you pleasure right now inside your body. In my book, I define pleasure as a whole body experience. So you're not thinking, wow, this is really nice. Instead, you're feeling your whole body relax and just sink into the experience. 
So pleasure is a physical sensation of relaxation and safety and well-being and ease. And that is what you want to look for. Okay, so let's put this into practice. You've got a decision you need to make. How do you use the pleasure principle to make it? Well, first you take a moment to breathe and center yourself. And then you imagine that you've already made your decision and you've chosen one of those options. That's what you're gonna do. So you see yourself making that choice and doing what you've chosen and living out your life as a result of that choice. Okay, now switch your attention from your imagination into your body and feel what's going on in there. Really center in on what's going on in your gut. Do you feel a sense of expansion, like possibilities are opening up? Do you feel a sense of warmth? Do you feel settled? Do you feel maybe like you've just given this great big sigh? Well, that's a green light, but maybe your body doesn't feel like that. Maybe it feels like there's a hard ball in your gut. You know, maybe, maybe there's some nerves or some excitement or some uncertainty or even some dread. That's a warning light. Now, either it's not the right choice or it's not the right time to make this choice. Now you go through this process with each of your options. So you imagine yourself making that choice, living out the results of that choice, and then you check in with your body. And you'll find out pretty quickly that your body really knows what it wants, even if your head doesn't agree with it. Now, at the end of the day, you make whatever choice you wanna make. You are in charge of your life. You can overrule your gut instinct. You can go with other people's advice. There are no rules to follow here. But feeling into your body gives you extra information to make those decisions. And often that information is pretty good. Now, does this tool interest you? Would you like to learn the science behind the pleasure principle? Would you like some more exercises and some more practices to put it to use in your life? Well, then you are in luck because I have a whole book about this. It is fun, it is cool, and it gives you a totally new framework to look at relationships and attraction and happiness. And I will put a link to that below. Go check it out. See you next time.